Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of goofballs in love that love some arcane. Oh, we're getting so deep into it now. Yes, we are. Uh, so we're getting to the end of Act 2. Um, this is Episode 6. And so we got our buddy cop film kind of going on with uh, Vi and, um, and Kate. And Jinx is officially baptized as Jinx now. And so, uh, the, you know, the table's been set, and I think they're going to meet in this episode, finally. I think so, too. Okay. And, of course, we got our fur babies, Zoe and Abby, with us. Uh, yeah. So they may make periodic cameos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hear a little bit of noises, like, you know, the, that's, that's probably our, our, our fur babies. That one's reading. So whose origin story is this going to be? Nope. She was a great woman. You're kind of 
Ah, uh, about time Daddy joined us. Yeah. You remember our old friend Vi, don't you? Her father went on a long trip, and Daddy here assured me that she left with him. Could you imagine being separated from your father? There's an enforcer with her, a girl, roughly the same age. I'll track her down. Everyone makes mistakes, right? My people are tracking Vi and this Caitlin. Oh, jerk. Oops. It responds to organic matter. Here's Audrey too. It, it could be the key to augmenting physiology, extending life. Oh, oh maybe not. They're rejecting the transplantation. We'll solve this. There may not be time. I can feel my body eroding. What is this place? These are the kind of people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up. It was never this big though. Those, they made me think of like the people in X-Men that live in the sewers. I can't remember their names escaping me right now. Gorlocks or something like that. Morlocks. I know you have your reservations about me. This only works if we can trust each other. You topsiders always find a way to screw us. I suppose Topside is to blame for all your misfortunes. We aren't monsters, you know. We're people, just like you. You have a good heart. You've got a good heart. What is that? Expect that evolves. It's oh. it's groundbreaking. Uh -oh. You must destroy it. I hope we get his past and background. And when he's if like, ever you put faith in my cold hands, opens. hear me now. I've seen nations destroyed by a single seed, and it looked exactly like this. Victor, something's different. It's that thing. It must be destroyed. I won't let you. Yes, <laughs> this is a violation of the ethos. That's your opinion. We'll see if the council agrees. <laughs> fragments we found outside your lab and at the hex gates well how has this threat gone unnoticed for so long short of searching everyone who crosses the bridges then that's what we'll do i saw caitlin kiriman had a prisoner released on your order no uh, we've got it covered how all right so he's learning it's not that dumb our way i believe if we set aside our greed and arrogance we can be one again we must hold each other accountable and who holds you accountable I'm sorry, Professor, but healing this city will take more than just speeches. We need a leadership focused on the future, not the past. They are kick hammering off the council. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well deserved retirement. Chase, oh. don't do this. All in favor? With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. No. Chase, how could you? Shame on you, Chase. Yeah, I kind of saw it coming up. We need you back on your feet. He used to live here. Who's Powder? My sister. I thought she died, but no. I have to try and find her. Lando's prodigy. With my sister. Oh, she is more than I ever imagined. I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna bring your bullshit empire town all around you. 
No, 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 it's girl. It's what got Vanda killed. What drove your sister away. And it's why I'm here right now. You talk too much. <laughs> Of a punch. Okay, so uh, our dog, Sui, uh, has joined us for this reaction, uh, to post-reaction, <laughs> even though she didn't get to see our cane. Uh, she heard something and it made her really scared, so she decided to jump in before our, our post-episode reaction. Yeah. Um, all right, so what'd you think? Really good episode. Um, yeah. We finally get to see Powder and Vi meet, which is, yeah. it's what we've been waiting for, so in that in that regard, it's, it's rewarding, it's satisfying, but... They got me choked up. It's so devastating to see what has become a powder. I mean, like, you still see that timid little girl in her who's so excited to see her sister and, like, the are you real? I mean, that line was that just line. heartbreaking. Yeah. But then that sort of, like, maniacal machine gun bliss that she had that Vi sees and like you see the horror on Vi's face seeing that in her sister. And the schizophrenia she has where she's, uh, you know, hearing the voices in her head. And I like the, sh you know, the way they they show it, the imagery of like, you know, her dead friends are like, are, are always behind her yeah. and like, you know, in, in the shadows. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very sad. And I, I, I like that this is a very ensemble based uh, show. Jinx and Vi are like, you know, the heart of it. And they're the ones that like, you know, bring all kind of like the, the emotions. But then you have just such intrigue at, uh, you know, the palace intrigue or whatever, um, the politics of Piltover um, and what's going on there. And, you know, and who has nefarious motives um, in, in Piltover. And, you know, it's just it goes back and forth between like, I'm like, who, who can I trust? There's times when I think that he's just like in over his head and he's this naive scientist and then there's other times I'm just like, oh, this dude knows exactly what he's doing. And um, the way he took down Heimdinger was just yeah. that was expertly lethal mm -hmm. as a as a politician. Oh, just the the, the pain and the betrayal on Heimdinger's yeah. face. Uh, wow, it was <laughs> really really well done. I mean, it's animation, but I don't know how they were able to convey that like in the eyes that yeah. pain and betrayal in, in, in the eyes. That's it's 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 wow. And then you have Victor and yeah. getting his backstory and how, you know, we've we've 
been unsure where to mm -hmm. place him. And now, unfortunately, it's it's good because he's still in the gray area in terms of like, he's going to the doctor who he knows to be kind of monstrous and, and very um, yeah. uh, inhumane in his pursuit of science. And yet he's dying and he's reached that point where he's willing to do anything. Yeah. For better or worse. So now it seems that Jinx is going to be a problem also for Silco. Um, and going going forward, now that she knows that he was a, a liar, and uh, she has she answers to nobody, and that's going to be even more dangerous. Yeah, that's um, like a, you know, she's she's got the cannon, and she's like a literal loose cannon out there. Because the thing with Jinx is, at least, she's super sensitive. Being sensitive to others and their feelings can be good, but when you have, like, a super thin skin and mm -hmm. everything is, is not so good. But at least when she's had somebody in her life, there's always been somebody who she's tried to impress, she's mm -hmm. tried to um, please for good or, for good or bad. Um, without that influence over her and being truly isolated, um, we've already seen her moments of isolation aren't good for her in that like she starts talking to the dead people so if that's the only social interaction she has is her sort of schizophrenia that's really terrifying i can't think there's only three more episodes left i'm which i wonder how they're gonna wrap it all up in that short amount of time they can't possibly wrap it up there has to be more seasons and i i wonder who we're gonna get for the last three uh intros who's whose background we're gonna get um you know probably like heimerdinger uh Mel or Madara, like, um, who said, Madarda. Madarda, who said she was like an outcast. I think that's her last name, though. Um, she's it like, is. Oh, well, because, yeah, because yeah, she like betrayed the Madarda, she didn't live up to the Madarda. Yeah, yeah. Thing. And so, uh, we gotta get hers. And then I don't know who the who the third one would be, or maybe there's no, um, backstory for the, for the final episode. So, let us know what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And, uh, just keep in mind that our reaction for episode six for Arcane is definitely not definitive.